You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. Yep. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, it's AfterBuzz TV's Game Control Live. Hey guys, and welcome to Game Control Live. I don't know if you know this, but Grant is actually the biggest connoisseur of sex in the city <laughs> of all of Game Control. <laughs> and speaking of which, Grant sitting across the table from me, Grant Corbin. Hi everybody. And presenting him in her, her yellow bling shiny Pac-Man outfit, Rachel Moore. She's cosplaying as Pac-Man the guy. I know, I need a red bow. If I have a red bow, I totally But you don't, so use the guy. Oh, I'm just, I'm just a guy You're today? Oh, no. Oh. And sitting next to me, Kari Take. Hey, guys. Sit next to me, Dave Klein. Yeah, that's right. I'm Dave Klein. Yeah. And to all of our Jewish friends out there who are fasting like I am, happy Yom Kippur. <laughs> to everybody else, enjoy eating food, you assholes. Mm, breakfast, breakfast. I hate all of you. I hate all of you. So today we're going to be talking about this is the 10th year anniversary of Steam. We got a fun topic for you guys, so if you guys want to call in, do call in 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. As we talk about what game you love but haven't finished, even though you love the game, we got a whole number of quick hit stories. And this song playing right now, Chrono Destiny by Maya. Then, lest I forget, in the studio, John Quick. John What's up, Quick. ladies and gentlemen? It's the J. Okay, coming at you. Right. You're running. Rocking bringing the, it out. Bringing the, bringing the beats, bringing it hard, bringing it fresh, bringing it hot, or whatever the hell it is, the Bing, buzzword is no, these no, days. These beats, Binging these beats, it beats, funky smell fresh. at least two weeks old. <laughs> funky fresh. All right. So let's go ahead and jump on our first topic of the day as I shake off my schedule. It's the 10th year anniversary of Steam today. Steam now, one of the biggest platforms, but it didn't quite start out that way. It started off as just a way for Valve to try and update first-person shooters and try and patch them. <laughs> Basically, just patch first-person shooters. Brilliant. Brilliant start, though. But, I mean, it's almost really, really been about, like, five years since Steam became what it really is and what well, we been, think of Steam as. I've been using it for pretty pretty much all of its ten years. I mean, yeah, it did I go through a beta it. phase, and, like, there was really only really... I mean, there's only a handful of games when it first started that really needed it so it's like if you had a pc game you didn't necessarily need to have steam but now it's like pretty pretty connected like if you buy a pc game like chances are it's gonna be like hey you want to activate it with steam mm -hmm. and i say no i say yeah. yes every single time i'm an outsider Actually, you know what? I've only just downloaded Steam about a year ago because I'm not a big PC gamer. I'm more of a console gamer. And I really only use it for indie titles for the most part. It's just like indie Cade stuff. Or um, I should say when they have their... Um, Humble Bundle. The Humble, like Humble Bundles. When that comes out, I'll, I'll yeah, subscribe sure to that. Yeah, make sure register all the stuff that I buy from the hum Humble Bundle mm -hmm. through that. So like now I have like all of my... I didn't necessarily have all my indie games in Steam, but now I do. Like All of them are nicely organized and... You know, it does help for organizing it, but honestly, like, Steam gives you the ability to participate in their communities for those games as well. Some of them are lack lacking people, but others actually have, like, very vibrant communities associated with each individual game. Like, of course, Team Fortress is big, but yeah. there are some other ones on there that would surprise you. Yeah, I don't know why. I just I never really got that into it. Like, I, I mean, I downloaded Amnesia through it. I downloaded. I mean, but that was a humble bundle thing. I mean, it's really just indie titles mm -hmm. that I download. And when I see a game that I want on PC, like when StarCraft 2 came out, I bought the discs though. I still went to Best Buy and bought the physical copy of it. Yeah. So I'm an outsider. No, I, I'm an outsider, I'm with you too. For all of it, for the mainstream and for did the- you buy, Did indie. you download your new game? What new game? Through Steam? Just oh, came out. Friday the beta 13? came out, and I couldn't figure <laughs> out how to download it. Like I went to the Steam Hit the page. Download button. There wasn't one. I looked everywhere for it, and there was. Was there a beta key part? part? No, the the beta went live on on the thirteenth. Um, yesterday. 
Yeah. Or wait, is the full game out yesterday? Or could you pre-order? I'm so confused. What game are you guys talking you about? You can play your game right now. Yeah, oh. Rich is saying he just signed up yesterday to get Huntsman the Orphanage to support oh. you. Yes, you yes. I knew the name of the game, but I, I don't... I, it's okay. There you go. I, I thought... I, I thought, totally knew what this I was, was like, guys. I'm not lying. <laughs> I thought the beta just went live yesterday. I didn't know the full game went live. Why not release it on Friday the 13th? That's a really good idea. Yeah. See, I didn't That's know true. that. I just know that knew that Rachel Plays went live this week. Rachel Plays. Yes, right. my new <laughs> YouTube channel. Live. Yes. Um, but Huntsman in the Orphanage is a game that got greenlit through Steam, and I voiced the lead character. Yay. The lead character. Don't judge really me. Cool. I'm not a voice actress, but, but it was fun. Really Why is like that not a cool thing to I say? Know. I think I want to do voice acting. This week, because I don't Goddess think I'm very also good. Also released on Steam. What is? Goddess, Peter Molyneux's game. Also oh, released in early access on Steam. Is that I have not heard of this game. Is that so, the game we talked about? Yeah, a few so the game that we ago? talked about. Well, we yeah. talked about a couple months ago because oh. like, he had that whole cube months, thing. Months ago. Yeah. He, he had the cube thing. It was a mystery With your game and goddess. Like yours is a yours is a green light game. And it's the best game and, that just came out. Well, I don't know about that. But uh, <laughs> the goddess game is like an early access. It's like Steam actually has this now, like all these things that I probably would have been like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Or I was like, I don't know if the green light's like really like what's going to get me to play these games. I don't know if the early access is a great idea because like I don't know that the people who are playing it are providing the kind of feedback that's needed for a developer to really make a game better. But like I'm really starting to see this pick up like Rachel's game, the green lit, like it's got the badge next to it and the store page. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is green lit. And the community that was that was there for to get it green lit is still there like commenting on the game and playing it downloading yeah. it and then same thing with the early access stuff it gets people an opportunity to uh play the game and feedback on the content earlier in the earlier in the development well the other thing that steam has been great about has been stuff like the humble bundle but even beyond that they have all these amazing deals that we talk about like every week there's always like some new steam deal of like wow did you know you can buy Basically, like, 10 EA games for $5 if you want. I think there's yeah. something like that going on at well, one point. You summer, like, you get Dead Space and other great mm -hmm. games for 5 bucks. Yeah. The summer sales are usually the best, although they have been doing um, uh, end-of-year sales, like the holiday specials as well. Um, and then the, that's the beginning of summer. You know, like, they, they, they're like, oh, yeah, it's better to stay indoors, which it is. Don't like I don't have to like <laughs> I don't have to convince anybody. It's it too damn hot out yourself. there, and there's a well, giant there's you know burning ball of gas just like hovering over my head. Yeah, it's Why not too you far know? Away. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's Rich, hot. by the way, saying that you did a wonderful job in your oh, narration, thank Rachel. Thank you, thank you. So there's other news with Steam too. Sure, so. he has a great opinion of herself. Don't lavish too much. <laughs> <laughs> so Steam is uh, apparently they're doing this new family share plan, essentially like what Xbox One was going to do. Yeah, and you kind of, like, I brought this up, but you mentioned it's like, oh yeah, it's obviously tied to the anniversary, the 10-year anniversary, and I never really thought of it that way, but yeah, it's like, it must be associated with the 10-year anniversary, and it's really like, takes what Xbox threw away and adds it on to Steam. Yeah. I actually don't think I said that, but I'm glad you interpreted me saying something smarter you did than what say I said. That. No, no, I don't mean. I actually said, said that, let's talk but... about it with the 10 year anniversary because you wanted it to be a quick hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I thought you mentioned it as being like associated. No, it, it makes perfect sense. Like, on it, like I would say. That but that does make perfect sense. Logical. But no, so it's cool. So apparently they have this new share plan where you list people in your network and you can all share games mm -hmm. together. And it's, it's basically like when you used to have a console game. Remember way back when we were kids when you would buy a game with your family member and you would actually play with your mm -hmm. uh, friends or people who you live with or your friends outside of that? You'd be like, hey, come over to my house so we can play a game together and you could share it. That's how you make friends. This then. is what now Steam is doing, but virtually. Mm. Yeah. That's well, what the Xbox you could was kind of do that do. with a PS3. Well, you can do that with games still. You can still do that with every console. Say like, hey, come over to my house and play with me. But I mean, you can like. You could have never done it with digital games. But you could never do a digital games. Yeah, you could. You sign in under someone else's name on PSN, download the game from their account, sign out, sign back into your name, what a you've pain got a in game. The butt. It's really easy. Well, <sighs> that's. I don't know. That's I never thought of doing that. that time. It that totally works. Work it totally with works. With every game? It totally works. Okay, cool. Give me all your games. I'm not giving you my sign in information. My credit card is tied to that shit. Fine. I don't, you're, you're, you're not dissuading me from either. doing any of this. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I don't even know why I try. We're the nice side. <laughs> oh, I like games. your rings. <laughs> Give me all your okay, games. Your rings are pretty. Thank you. My rings are pretty. Those are fun. Is that all connected ass to? With yeah. those. Dang. It's, it's like, like someone finger bondage. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I don't want to get punched. No. 
So let's go ahead and move on to another topic, which is a question. And guys, if you have answers who are watching in the live chat, you can go ahead and type in the live chat or you can call in 424-256-1729 because we would love to hear from you. But the question for today is, and the topic for today is, what game do you love but have never finished? Yet you love the game. And I, I can go ahead and start but this one off. Finished. I can start this one off real quick here because I thought about it. I was like, immediately I have my game, Final Fantasy VII. And, oh. and there's a reason why I never finished it, too. She's got all of your nerd cred revoked. Oh. Well, I finished Final Fantasy no, VI. there's a lot of people I know that no, haven't finished it. But here's why. Game. It's a great game, and I played it all the way through. I got my gold chocobo. I was trying <laughs> to face Emerald Weapon, and I was trying to face Ruby Weapon. That's where I was. And all my characters were in their 90s for their levels. And then I went to the playground, because this was when I was in elementary school. I was hanging out with my buddy. I brought my memory card in my pocket so I could bring it over to my buddy's house and play Final Fantasy VII at his place. And somewhere out where at the playground, my memory card went missing. What? And I lost all my save data. <laughs> so I lost all my FF7 save data. I lost all my Final Fantasy Tactics save data, which was also a big deal. I think all my Symphony of the Night save data, but that was easier to redo. So I was just completely heartbroken. I was like, I can't replay all of Final Fantasy VII to get back to level 90. And I do want to replay the game at some point. I just haven't. So that's why I haven't. Finish at this Final point, Fantasy could, VII. At this point, mm. there, it's available on so many consoles that you could actually recreate the this the situation that your memory card was left with. I don't. Basically. I honestly don't remember the exact situation outside well, you can of that. Create the basic generics, and then like I know that Final Fantasy VII, like there's a lot more data and variables to account for on that memory card save. Like your character was your own at that point, and all the materia that I had yeah. collected specifically. And the um, ones that you enjoyed using. And all the, also all my gold saucer save data for how far I got into the mini games in gold saucer. Because I was damn good at that snowboard mini game. <laughs> That's what it's about. But yeah, so that was a depressing moment. And I haven't replayed it mainly because I've been so busy doing other things and other newer games I'm trying to play and catch up on that it's hard to say, like, okay, well, let me go replay through an entire JRPG. But but Dave, it sounded, you said you were on the playground. So, like, how <laughs> old were you? I told I was like five, fifth grade, I think. You were, you were, so you Eight were in years fifth old. grade. So, okay, eight years old. You are, like, how old now? I'm a lot older. 26. All right, you're 26. So you've had nearly um, two decades to rectify this situation, nearly. is what you're telling me. And you haven't nearly. done... He's going to finish it up okay. in the next two years. Well, worry. the first couple of years, I just didn't want to go back into it and replay because that took a long time to get that far. It took a long, long time. You had nothing but free time. It's like a hundred hours of free that time, and then there's yeah, other new games Which you out. clearly had. You were eight. I didn't John, have I that. You're supposed to be like a little bit more subdued today because you're on like antihistamines. Apparently, Tone it down. No. Tone it down. No, no, no. I got, I got to bring it. Nerd rage goes through the grogginess. Okay. I don't think. I, don't I will know. give Dave like. I will give Dave like a pass on this one just because I, I actually know. For, I have a lot of friends who are frustrated with the end game in Final Fantasy VII to the point where it's like I know how hard it is to get the uh, even. Oh, we got, we got, we got a call to, coming in to get the gold chocobo and like to. All right. figure it takes out forever. All game. right, yeah. come in. All right, you're on, ga chance. you're on game control live. What's up? Who is this? Hi, it's Alyssa. Alyssa! Hey, what's up? I was just going to say, a game that I love but haven't been able to finish is Sleeping Dogs. And I love it, and I'm so excited for it, but then I got so many other games, and it's such a big game. I just can't finish it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, I mean, that's another thing, too, with how big games are today. Like, I was playing Xenoblade Chronicles, which John watched, and I actually really liked the game. And I got to about the end of the game, but at that point, I, I'd already invested about 80 to 100 hours in the game, and I just never finished it because then something else came out that caught my interest, and I just never yeah. ended up going back and finishing it. So I'm sure Sleeping Dogs might be similar for you. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Yeah, but I still so. recommend. I don't, I don't know about you, but, like, yeah, it's a game you love, right? You would still recommend Sleeping Dogs? Oh, yeah, totally. It's really fun. Yeah. I feel like everything Grand Theft Auto. And I still recommend Xenoblade Chronicles and Final Fantasy VII. Just don't mm, lose yeah. your memory card. All right, but thank you, Alyssa. Thank you so much for letting us know. And no problem. And can I tell Grant happy birthday? Oh, Yay. thank you very yes, much. You yes, you can. Aww, thank it you. It is Grant's birthday today. So <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. 
It still counts. It counts. It's it your counts. birthday weekend. It counts, <laughs> it counts weeks from now. What are you talking about? You actually about? have a whole <laughs> week of celebration yeah, for your birthday. Mm-hmm. birthdays. So. It's the year of Luigi. Aww. <laughs> it's my birthday in the year of Luigi. We got a That's bunch awesome. of people in the chat chiming in. Uh, Angel, Damien, like Holgian, Valencia saying Shadow the Colossus because his PS2 broke and stopped working right before the final no. boss. Ooh. That game is amazing. I feel bad about that one. Uh, Scaly Aragon saying that she loved Pokemon Sapphire version but never finished it. And Curtis AG Gamer saying, never finished God of War Ascension because the series of battles towards the end of the game was terribly hard. I, I, yes. I would agree with Curtis on that one, but I pushed, I mean, like... The, I'm the, just really good because I beat it in my first try. in that game, like, they have a quirk to them that allow you to pass them with, like, I, the first time you play through that those boss battles, like, you have no idea what the key to beating those, like, you'll, you'll hammer on a, a character for, like, the longest time and you won't be doing anything right. Uh, but that's what the problem is, like, it, if you're willing to ask a couple people online... Come on, these That's games are so That's all I heard people bitch about was the ending of God of War Ascension, how freaking hard it was. When I, by the time I got there, I thought this was going to be my game breaker. This is a game I'm not going to finish because it's going to be so hard. Close range it wasn't on a most, problem. Like hammered everybody from far away and then switched the close range, uh, the close range weapon. Maybe it just depends on the style of the, it you play the game. It was just attack, attack, roll, attack, attack, roll. Yeah, and if you did totally. that, it was it But maybe people just didn't want rollers. Maybe they just didn't know to roll. Not, it's God of War. You have to roll. I don't know how to, yeah, turn, no, you I don't know how to turn left. So I have to turn all the way. You have to play God of War like God of War. If you play it like it's meant to be, it's it's easy. Uh, no, all right. it's very different than the other God of Wars. I will say that. Ascension is, but by the time you're at the end, you already know how the game plays. So, okay, so, Curtis, so wait, wait, wait. What are you, you suck. Wait, wait. <laughs> so what about you guys, though? What games have you not finished that you love? Um, for me, it was actually Bulletstorm. I was telling Kari <gasps> before we started. I love the game. Oh, my um, God, so There's good. just so many, so many um, games came out right then as well, and I moved on, unfortunately. I still have it. And, and, like, this is a game that I bought on the PC. That was a fun game. This is a game I bought on the PC, too, which also tends to lead me to, like, putting it away for a while and never actually finishing it. Because with a console, I can just throw the disc in, for Mm -hmm. the most part. With the PC games, I actually have to pull it out and, like, get it installed, especially if it isn't a Steam game. Um, Yeah. (gasps) Fullstorm. Loved it. No. Well. No, Rich. No. For me. Oh, (laughs) oh, what? What? When you said the... The magic word. When you guys first asked this question, I thought, there, <laughs> if I loved a game, Me too, I Rich. ended I up playing it, and Dark I ended up beating Souls. it. But then I thought about two games I'd never beat. Oh, so there. <laughs> so, oh, oh, okay. Okay, so you were up on your high horse, and then you realized, oh, crap. Yeah, and uh, one is Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy It's the Final oh, Fantasy cares? series, man. Yeah. I think it's just that series in general. And then, nine as well. I never finished eight either. One which is terrible. I never beat Chrono Trigger. No! I know. What? I know. <laughs> I know. That is my favorite game of all time. That's that is. That was like I loved it, and then one day the cartridge disappeared, and I still suspect my brother took it from me. Well, now you can get it on the 3DS, the DS version, which has mm-hmm. cut content and extra stuff, and it's probably the best version that you can get. Yeah, I, the I DS version. Uh, you know, some of these games that you're talking about too, you can't even skip the cutscenes. Like with okay. Final Fantasy VII, like you, like originally you couldn't skip. I don't think like so. That? I don't think oh, no, no, you, you can, can skip the cup scenes. I think you can. You can. You can, can. You can Metal Gear is one you can. You right? press X X X X X to try and yeah. go through the dialogue as quickly as possible. But I mean, like I do want to replay Final Fantasy VII because I did love the game and it's worth at this point replaying it. But yeah, just at the time it happened and I just was moving on to other games. The only game I can think of that I liked but didn't finish, because there was like a, a time. Maybe a year or two ago, where I was like, "Oh man, there's all these games I liked I didn't finish." So I mentally went through, or I I went through and played all of them and beat them. So I don't have any more left. There was one because I didn't have a working PS2 anymore when I did that, so I couldn't finish it. And it was a ga- game I really liked. It was called Tulip, and there was this, and it was a game where your objective in the game is to get people to kiss you. So you would have to do yeah. all these like side quests and do all these weird like chores for people to get them to like you enough to kiss you. And um, I don't know why I never finished it. I just didn't. See, and here's why a, you finish all your games. It's because you're not a big RPG gamer. If, I am an RPG gamer. I'm not a JRPG gamer. Okay, that's what I mean. JRPG. Totally into if you're a big RPGs. JRPG gamer, there would be a lot more games. games. If it's yeah. turn-based, because, I'm, not, I'm not interested. Because those games take hundreds of hours, and sometimes you get 80 hours in, and you love the game, but other things come up, and they just kind of get pushed to the side. Well, see, when I get sucked into an but RPG that I really like that could put hundreds <laughs> of hours in, 
I finished I, that one. I seriously yeah. just shut off my life. Like, friends and social life stops, and I'll play for 13, 14 hours straight every day. So... I just devote like a, a lot of time to RPGs. See, the other thing that happened to me, though, I like them. I have a lot more games because I worked at G4, where literally I would play two games, new games a day. Yeah. And that was what I had to do. Every day was yeah. two new games. Or you, you had to beat games that you didn't want to play necessarily on your yeah. own, mm -hmm. but you had to for work. Right. But then, like, yeah. at G4, though, there were games that, like, I didn't have time to play because I was capturing footage for them, or I didn't have time to finish, so it would be like, okay, like, I love Dead Rising 2. And that was anytime I have free time, I played Dead Rising 2. But it was literally like I got it and captured the footage, had to move on to another Ugh, game to capture footage for them Dead and get Rising more footage. Too. I actually really liked it. Uh. But there were like uh, Etrian Odyssey. Uh, that was a JRPG. It was really good. It was Etrian Odyssey 3 was the game that came out at the time while I was working with uh, G4. It was really good, but it's an incredibly time-consuming game. Incredibly, incredibly time-consuming. Once you get past the learning curve of it, which I had to do... That was about the time that they were like, all right, well, you got enough footage for us to do our segment, so move on to another game. So then I had to move on to another game. And it's just like there were so many games I was playing at the time. Do you guys yeah. remember Legends of Lagaya or Lagaya? Yeah, I remember yes. that series. I yeah. never beat that one, too, and I love that one. There's a lot of them. We're yeah, talking about the ones that we love the most, yeah. too. That we yeah, I mean, finish. for me, the one I love the most was FF7, which is a big one to bring up. But I think oh. Final Fantasy is an easy one, like to not finish. Yeah. Well, well, speaking along. Uh, the, and John, what is yours? The, well, speaking along the square lines, um, this is actually really, really embarrassing because, as, as Dave will know, I will grab a hold of this game's dick and just <laughs> jerk it off like all Ooh, the live long day. Yeah, I know what game you're talking about. Yeah, Vagrant <laughs> Story. Why? <laughs> Why have I never beaten Vagrant Story? Holy shit, have you played that You'll game? You'll jack it off, no. but you won't ever let it finish? I No, no. That's I not cannot, nice, I cannot, John. Yeah, I, You've been blue-balling <laughs> Vagrant that Story is not nice. for the past I, 10 years I of your get, life. I get so far into it, and like the systems like, that it you have to do... It just takes too long? It's not that it takes too <laughs> long. It's just like tired. in order to yeah. properly Your like... hands get tired. You're just like, come on, game. Can we finish this already? <laughs> well, that happens on occasion, but it's... the. The, the systems <laughs> of, like, what weapons you need to create and how you have to level your character. Gotta get and your every, stamina up. Yeah. Games are yeah, a lot more like stamina. sex than I ever you realized. You have other things you need to be doing in life. This game just needs to get it over with. Because sometimes those long games, you're <laughs> just, just like... Let me get back. You're well, like, okay, you know... you it's good game, for a long game It, it was session. good for a long time, yeah. but at the end, you're just like, okay, come on, just get it over yeah, with. Exactly. Just, just finish. Yeah, well, yeah, you start oh. thinking about what you're going to have for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then you're just out of it. And then it's just chafed, <laughs> and then, you know, there's no feeling left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to mention Rich saying that he didn't finish Demon Souls. Rich. Rich, let's have a talk. Let's have a sit down and <laughs> dun, talk. Dun, you dun. haven't even played you've Demon pamphlets. Souls. You've got pamphlets in your backpack. Like, <laughs> Levy, I'm, I'm pamphlets literally, pamphlets. yeah. Rich, let me explain to you. I'm a door to door, -door salesman. Yeah. Souls. Yeah. Dark Souls. <laughs> your way to happiness through Demon Souls. <laughs> you know, Dark Souls 2 is coming out in March, and Demon Souls wants you to finish it before Dark Souls 2 comes out. <laughs> Just saying. Do you know, like, you I need to I'm start playing, a church. I, I will admit this. I'm playing Dark Souls, um, the Prepare to Die Edition. Die edition. Dear God, people, do yourself a favor. If you are thinking about getting into Dark Souls, go and get the original. Don't get this Prepare to Die edition. It's Prepare too to hard. Die edition isn't any different. It's too hard. The only edition to Prepare to Die is the DLC content. That's the I only edition. I think the bosses are like harder. No. They revamped no. the no. bosses. No. No. no, they didn't. They, they didn't touch them at all. I suck at Dark Souls. Just you don't so you suck at. Know. You know what you should do is watch my Let's Play series Sucker. that tells you how and teaches you how to play oh. Dark Souls. I don't have time for this stuff. I don't have time for this stuff. Put it on in the background at work. Uh, that's what I do. Um, no, the thing is, like, it, it's just that hard of a game. It really is. That's why people say Dark Souls is an incredibly hard game. It is just that hard. That doesn't sound fun. Except for you. No. No, Except for me. no there, there, there was a learning curve. There Dave was a learning curve. John and, John and I, were, when we first played Dark Souls, because we were going back and forth playing it, we were literally like, oh, my God, I got past this area. I cannot believe it. And, like, we were going through the same stuff. Like, I, I remember, like, you got... this game yeah. to my list of games that yeah. I loved but did not manage. <laughs> yeah, you, you got stuck on Capra Demon for a while, oh, yeah, and I beat him in, like, one go. Yeah, I got stuck on Capra Demon. He raped my soul. And then John gets past him in one go. I'm like, John, you were the worst human being ever. What, but does, I can. what does raping <laughs> one's soul look like? It's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's say let it me... involves a lot of sharp objects. And um, no lube. I don't know. No oh, lube. Like, oh don't that's, a, that's the secret. That's it. the secret. No lube. I clicked on a link from Owen Harper about my obsession with Dark Souls, but I can't read it because I'm working, but I want to read it. <laughs> He's I will come it. back to it, Owen Harper. <laughs> I want to read this comic because I love VG Cats. But 
Let's move on to our moments of the week. Yeah. Moment of the week. I'll start with mine. Again, I'll go ahead and start off with... Um, this game already came out, apparently, but they are revamping and redoing it. I never played the original version. And it's called Stanley's Parable. And it just looks so different and unique to me. It Stan looks really Lees cool. Stanley's or Stan Lee? What's going on, guys? Stan Lee. I'm playing a new okay. game by the name of Stanley Parable. It seems like it's one of those original games where it's got some hmm. different themes. And similar okay, so here it is playing out. And this is just someone narrating it. But basically, you're in an like office. He's got a soft voice. You're in an office space, and he's trying to explain, like, okay, let's go ahead and move forward and check out our job. Is this one of those Escape job. the Room games? I love Escape the Room games. A. The... Those games <laughs> rock. Like, first, let me, <laughs> tell let me tell you how much I love Escape the Room games. But here's the thing, right? So he's like, wait a second. Um, wait, so this is where he just started off, yeah, and here, you realize that the hall is just a never-ending loop of a hall that never stops, right? So, uh, hold on, before you skip forward, John, I just want to point out this one thing before you yeah, skip forward. So, once again, for people watching, again, wait, he's still in the exact same hall. And he looks up, and his character keeps on counting the lights and, like, moving forward. So, okay, now you can move forward. A man named Stanley. A man named Stanley. Is this the narration of a person that's playing the video, or...? Yeah, this is supposed to be the narration of someone playing it, but eventually... Eventually, so literally he goes back and forth like 20 times and eventually all of a sudden he finds a door. He's like, wait, Hello? wait a second. Why, why is there a door here all of a sudden in this hallway that I've gone back and forth in 20 different times? Yeah. So it's just like kind of messing with your brain type of stuff. So now he goes back because he's like, why did it change all of a sudden? That's weird. And he goes back and all of a sudden the hallway is completely different. He's in a new place. It just looks like a cool like mess with you. Apparently, Scaly, have you played this game? Scaly's saying I love this game. Um, so I guess maybe play the original of this game because they're they're revamping and redoing uh, Stanley's Parable. It? Is there any horror elements? I'd imagine it's gonna be on Steam. I I don't know if there's any horror huh. elements. It just looks really cool and interesting to me because it's completely abandoned. So I think it's more of like a creepy atmosphere type of game, and I love creepy atmospheres. Yeah. Scaly, tell me about this game because it looks so cool. It looks like it's built on the Source engine. Oh, and Harper joking. Oh, I see. Apparently, the joke is the Church of the One Winged Angel. Watch him closely. Um, but yeah, so apparently it's just like messing around with the environment around you and like feeling trapped and yeah. And Angel, we have heard about that and we're going to talk about it further in the show. By the way, Angel, we are going to be talking about it. So yeah, Scaly's saying she's played this game. It's very frustrating, but she loves it. Uh, it was so frustrating, but she loves the game. Yeah, it just looks incredibly unique to me. I'm very, I, I'm all for that. Completely original, unique ideas, and mm -hmm. especially creepy things. I love anything creepy. So this is your gaming I'm moment I'm all about of creepy. So this is my moment of the week. So let's move on. It's pretty good. I'm, yeah. I know, are you happy it wasn't Dark Souls? <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. I can't contain. <laughs> How's your birthday present? Enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome for you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Although we did manage to talk about Dark Souls at least once this. Nah, it's yeah. fine. I even talked about it. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that you're playing it. Okay, so, uh, Kari. Yes, what is your my moment? gaming moment of the week. I know Patrick mentioned this last week, and I was hesitant to mention it again, but I really think that this game needs to be um, giving a shout-out because it's so good. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Shovel Knight. No. But yeah. that one looks Don't good, Don't try too. to hijack her moment. And that game, <laughs> it's so good. This is the it trailer is. from it E3. Is. It's not long, but it's a great story, great art. It's just all good all around. Like, you can beat it in one evening. And we're also only going to play it for 15 seconds, John. Oh, this is just like a minute. Oh, yeah. Great. Because of the IGN watermark. Yeah. Okay, 15 That's seconds. That's why. But, yeah, pretty much go play it. it basically, two brothers uh, looking for a cure for their ailing father. You, you know, the thing is, I, I actually somehow, this, I haven't played this game human. yet. And I think the game looks fantastic. And it I is. really do want to play it. I did two gameplay videos on my YouTube like, channel. Like, if you only it. have three or four hours this week, go play this. Please. Oh, I'm going it is, to. It is good. <laughs> it's because fun. my week is only comprised of three or four hours. Charms. Well, you know, Dave, he has no free time. Yeah. So. No, this is no, the game. Doesn't. This is the game that I've been wanting to play. That I'm just like, why haven't I played Brothers yet? This game looks fantastic it's so to me. Good. It's so good. So I've made it from all of you now. So you're saying it. You guys are both yeah. saying it. Definitely. I need to play this game. Mm -hmm. And it'll be your gaming moment of the week next week. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Every week, it'll be someone's new gaming moment of the week. will be brothers. It's 
it's getting close to deserving that. Like the <laughs> like how effective it is mm -hmm. and like the praise that people are lavishing it. Yeah, because the cool thing to me what I'm hearing is apparently the controls is like it really does matter the way that you do the control the game. It actually some and there's some twist where it really matters. It's, yes. the, it's one of the mm -hmm. first games oh, that I've actually I, thought, I, like, I haven't incorporated it really well. So this is both thumbs. This yeah. is me. I haven't played the game at all, so this isn't going to be a spoiler. This is just my prediction. Don't give it away. Okay. But like my prediction is that one of the brothers dies and that's why the controls matter so much. That's my well, prediction. It just matters you can't say anything. You need to help each other. But this, I think there's, that's what the twist is. But anyways, uh, Alyssa White saying that she loves Brothers so much, definitely recommend it. Yeah. So Alyssa White agreeing with you there. Yeah, so I I really want to pick it up. Your homework. I, say. I am sold on it. I give you a month homework. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, that's about a month, what my time slot is like. <laughs> All right, Grant. My gaming moment of the week is a little bit more subdued. It's my birthday. That's Yay. Yay. But it's okay. 30 years old. Um, Ew, you're old. <laughs> Ew. 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 Um, one one of the things that my birthday got me thinking about was like how I got it start how how I got started playing games, experiencing like what I consider my gaming moments. So this is why this is my gaming moment of the week. Um, I thought about like the thing that first got me into computers, for example, and I went out and took all this money that my grandma had basically, I don't know, my grandmother's generation, they put away shit. They saved money, they bought ridiculous things. So she had money saved away for each of, our, each of her you know, grandchildren. Yeah. I took $2,500 <laughs> and bought a computer. And speaking of oh, Grant's no. birthday, <laughs> oh, it is Grant's birthday. This is too much. <laughs> I don't know if you can really see it in. And you can hear it because it's your birthday. You have to hold it up to the camera. We've also got Marilyn Monroe singing it for you. We also have Marilyn Monroe. I can actually do this. Yeah, we, we so Grant, in studio. I remember singing from work. Happy yeah, she actually came into the studio. Yeah. So Grant, and I, back from the dead. Grant, I, yeah, I'm back from the dead, amazingly. Grant, I remember you saying that you didn't like, like, for, at work there were like chocolate cakes that you didn't want, and the only cake you wanted was like a vanilla cake. Well, is this chocolate on the inside and no. vanilla on the outside? No, it's vanilla, like, vanilla. Ha! No, I'm saying, so I got, I specifically made sure to get vanilla, vanilla for you, because I think I remembered you only you liking like, vanilla. You don't oh, like chocolate? I do. Oh. I do, but like, I like this better. So there we go. Okay. I remember and purple for nerd luster grants website that you need to check out nerdluster.com yeah, yeah, exactly. purple nice. text Second favorite color for nerd luster <laughs> It's on yellow, right? No, it's yeah. pink or pink pink color. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So anyway, my gaming moment of the week is I just remembering all of the, the fun that I had on my $2,500 computer it, it when it started out it was a hundred megahertz considering that my computer now has like eight cores and like so many gigahertz and like the new xbox one and the ps4 coming out and they're like super computers in their own right my gaming moment of the week is how much was i able to accomplish on that twenty five hundred dollar computer it's mm -hmm. also like I, I i can't remember like i played mech warrior 2 on that i played all the tex murphy games um i still need to play I those played, i played all the sim city games yeah. all through it like sims like I, I even upgraded that computer over time and i'm just thinking like it like kids have no right to like i mean yeah of course uh you know like kids running. have no right kids have no right are whining about the cost of video game consoles because like it, a computer nowadays costs so much less so a right. gaming console costs so much less and well gaming consoles so cost more it. than yeah, they used to more. more than they used to but they cost yeah, less than twenty five hundred dollars. That much more. But look what they can do now. Considering the cost of inflation and how much my Nintendo cost, like back then, it's not that much more. If anything, computer costs have gone down. Anyway, what I'm saying is like, wow, Grant, you're already thir you're only thirty and you're already a curmudgeon. That's it. like you're, you're <laughs> no, one that, that, step that, away that, from chasing the kids off your lawn. <laughs> I know it's hard. I know people don't have money, but. Use whatever you do have. Buck if up, I didn't kiddos. have money, I would have gone to, uh, I would have stayed longer at school just to play on the computers. The honestly. Day of the day. Like, and that's what I did. Like, before I had a computer, I played on, I played on my, uh, my no, that's actually computers. when I was a kid. Like, literally, I used to caddy, uh, when I was 13, I started working as a caddy. And all my allowance every week, I would just save up, and my friends and I would go out to go get food or go to the mall, and I wouldn't buy any food. That's yeah. why I'm so thin. Because I would save money for video oh, games. Okay. That's why I'm thin. It's because I wouldn't buy food when I went out with my friends because I was like, no, I'm saving you for the next video body? game. Video games built that. Video yeah. game body right here. <laughs> made by games. I have a tank top that says <laughs> body by and it has the video game controller. Oh, that's yeah. Cute. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, so imagine though, to make you feel really bad, how much, what com type of computer you could buy $2,500 oh today. Oh my God. None of my True. computers have cost that much. Like I just bought, I mean like even buying the new Xbox One and the PS4 together has not even mm. come close to even coming, costing what my original computer cost me. But what it gave me back over the years is like immeasurable. It got me into games more deeply. It got me into the computer side of games back when computers were outstepping the yeah. consoles like by leaps and uh -huh. bounds so like I, I i love my computer i feel like people should chase <laughs> after their dreams and really just like continue what a heartfelt I used to, gaming moment of the week yeah i used to love those old games though. like those that was back when i played more pc games because of all those adventure games like you were talking about like tex avery which i actually haven't played murphy tex murphy I, tex murphy tex avery. that's why i said the wrong name because i haven't played but i need to play that but like day of the tentacle well, they have a new or as rachel out. says tentacle porn tentacle, tentacle porn tentacle porn I think tentacle porn. No porn. They have from computers. Yeah. Oh, tentacle. Okay. They Someone said tentacle. tentacle, and he said, "When I hear tentacle, I think of Octodad." And I say, "When I hear tentacle, I think of tentacle porn." I like Day of the Tentacle. Uh, it's yet game. again, it's a normal progression. Well, it's yeah. not normal at all. <laughs> it is. Because yet again, when sex is brought up, it's usually by Rachel. <laughs> tentacle porn. So what's usually. your gaming moment of the week? Oh man, I thought we were gonna forget about me. Um. Why do you never, never have why, games why, of the week? Why, how would we forget about you? you you're one of the four people in the room. <laughs> and you're wearing yellow. <laughs> and yeah, you're wearing bright colors this today. this week was Saints Row. And my, my gaming moment of the week in Saints Row, uh, I wasn't recording, so I couldn't. I can't really show you. But I got to compete in amateur night on at a strip club shoot professor yankee in the head that's that was fun that was fun no but amateur night the amateur night um qte mini game was awesome and you perform like this little strip dance in a club called uh technically legal so technically that was legal. my favorite part but my real gaming moment of the week we already talked about and that is uh huntsman the orphanage on steam Huntsman Orphanage on Steam. That's, so so that is your gaming moment of the week. Go you check it one. out, guys. You had one. And uh, I even reminded I, you I about didn't, it earlier. I know. Well, I didn't really have one, but then I was sitting here and I was Rich like, oh, wait, maybe I can think like, of I one. I played it already. It's great. <laughs> I, I, need, I, I, need I mean, you could also say your Let's Play channel going <laughs> live this week. Uh, oh, yeah. See, I just need to have, like. We know your gaming <laughs> moments know, for I you. I know. I'll just email you guys next week and be like, so, what should we talk about? Yeah, well, probably. <laughs> um, in Saints Row 4, have you gotten the upgrade for the tentacle bat that actually makes it, like, immensely devastating? Like, oh. you can, like, swing it at a car and the car yes. just flies, it's like, 800 feet? It's completely overpowered, yeah, okay. but I love That's it. Like, then that should be your gaming moment. Yeah. Wasn't that last week? Upgrade. Oh, no, because she My, had a dildo bat last, last week. Last week was the dildo bat on the, presented on the nice stone table. Like the sort of stones. Pointed up towards the crack in the ceiling. Uh-huh, yes. Well, also, in Saints Row... I got a, I unlocked a new outfit to where I can run around dressed like like a blow up doll. That's yeah, that's pretty cool. cool. Well, it looked like I, I was watching your last play and it looked like you were just running out without a shirt on. I yes, well I have um, flesh colored pasties on, so it looks like I have Barbie boobs. Oh, I literally just thought that was your character without a shirt on. Yeah, if you if you take the pasties off and she's completely topless, they do the pixelated naked Sims thing. Uh, I could do that with my character, just like like flesh colored pants. Yeah, you totally could. Well, I haven't yeah. played Saints Row Four, okay? It's so good. Mm -hmm. I've been watching Rachel play Saints Row 4. I'm, good. I'm waiting up, holding up for GTA 5. It's going to be better than GTA 5. Which is going to be this week. Because I don't Honestly, want to spend that side 60 bucks yet. That's missing why. Out on, I'm, I'm waiting like, the last for Saints couple Row to there. like lower their price. Well, it's first I have wild, to play Brothers, and then I can not, get to Saints Row 4. It's not going to lower its Maybe price anytime soon. Years, There's so much I've, content in that game that's not going to go down. Well, Dave, you're also not working your way through King's Fields. Two, which oh, is yeah. not going to be a short adventure. It's not that long of a game, though. It's not like a typical JRPG. But yeah, I'm doing Kingsfield 2 right now for my Let's Plays, so. Take a break and go play Brothers. Kingsfield 2 is awesome. Yeah, out of all Maybe that. I'll play that too. Play Brothers. You yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. I can fit in Brothers for sure. Plus, I'd but... like to continue making fun of you for not having playing Saints Row. Yeah. It's so good. Can you, uh, I played the original Saints Row. So, okay, no, the Saints original Saints Row wasn't good. This one is ridiculously good. It was after three. So good. It was after it was after two that it started to get really like wacky. Like after two, they finally said like, okay, yeah, we're not quite Grand Theft Auto. Let's just do the craziest shit imaginable. Oh my and god. And then like three was like, okay, we're gonna unlock like every imagination that you have in your in our heads. For I only you have so much imagination and in my four brain. Four is just like, there's no holds barred. Like no. the the barriers that it. separated the real world from the <laughs> fake world are just torn away. It's it's insane. It is so. Oh my god, so the game is so. Alyssa's good. hopping on with your bandwagon, telling me that I need to play it. Which one? 
Brothers? Oh, oh. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, Saint Row. Saint Row 4. Yeah, yes, you do. I guess I should play it too. So it's just, <laughs> it's, it's so, so good. Hayden, we're talking about you right now playing, playing with Rachel. Yes. Can you pat your head and rub your belly at the same time easily? That's mm -hmm. what that brothers feels like. Oh, I can do like. that. That's what brothers feels like. Yeah. But yes, that's the answer. I just did it right away. Yeah. I was wondering why right you were doing it. Like, Cowrie was just sitting over in the corner, just like, kind of messing with herself. I'm like, what the Let's hell? See, let me see if I can do this before I actually bring it up. Like, <laughs> well, the I thing is, brothers like seems easier to me. Adult. Brothers seems easier to me because I played games before with the dual analog idea where you yeah. control different things with uh -huh. each analog. I've done that before a lot. Or like, even Geometry Wars in the sense is like that. So are you like, are you like prepping yourself? I'm a gamer, guys. That's what I do. You're well, prepping yourself. Have you not heard my tales of gaming legends? Rayman legends? Rayman legends, but I want a backpack. He won a backpack, okay, people. Boom! Back in the day, I won a backpack. <laughs> okay, Back John, in the what, day, like a month ago. John, what is your gaming moment of the week when well, I got Pax Plague? All right, yeah. well, okay. Well, my gaming moment of the week, you'll actually see up on the screen right now. Or you, apparently no you won't. What the hell's going on here? I see nothing. I but here, how about this? I see dead people. I don't know, but I'll show everybody. Anyway, on the screen, um, everyone can see that this, uh, you, Scaly Aragon, you might recognize this. This is uh, Dave Klein from Your Story. I have an artist friend of mine. I sent um, a, a friend of mine, Lindsay Britz. Um, like his hair. Who also has an Etsy page <laughs> called Aqua Rose, which I will show here in a second. I gave her um, the uh, Scaly Aragon story and some reference pictures of both Dave and myself. Johnny Quick. There I am <laughs> with my um, spiked nunchucks. And um, she proceeded to draw them up. We're also getting uh, a group shot uh, of all of us um, drawn up basically in this style which will be coming out soon. But for right now, Scaly, uh, please send us some sort of mailing address so that uh, we can send these to you. Yes. There you Why, go, Scaly. Why, your character, did you know this place has no Wi-Fi? Because it's that's from the actual, that's from her story. I, I know that, but it's just funny that that's the line. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, Scaly, but there is actually, like, um, I want to find Wi-Fi in your story. And wait, I, I'm trying to figure out: is, is she playing video games at the very beginning of one of the one of the episodes? The you first episode. It? Yeah. Okay. Right. I I, like, I love my hair too, though. Yeah. I like having spiky. Mm. I'm glad that I'm represented as a spiky haired dude because in the RPGs, of... that's always who I wanted to be was a spiky haired guy. So I'm glad that's how I'm represented. And, and, and for everybody that, that can see, this is. Can uh, you show us some more of her work? Uh, this is our Etsy page. Actually, yes, here is more of it. Looks like I, the last person who I used this was looking up Kelly Price. Hello. Kelly Price photos. Someone likes Kelly Price. Is that what we were looking up? Possibly during I, the I show. But uh, as you can see, she also does. <laughs> she also does. Is that um, what we've resorted to? Yeah. <laughs> is that the level that we've gone down to? <laughs> she also does DS cases, Black and she's face. going to be doing uh, two DS cases, also coming up here soon. Let so, me see more. Two DS cases for those I of you who want to play Pokemon. Because that's why it's coming out. Wait, so what's what's her Etsy page again? It's called the Aqua, Aqua Rose. Rose. The Aqua Rose for you guys. The Aqua Rose. And of course, My Little Pony. So yeah, and this is I from uh, Scaly Aragon, our uh, viewer who's on the chat right now. This is from her <laughs> story. She's freaking out, too. She, uh, she wrote a uh, zombie survival story and has us in it, all of our cast. So thank you so much for putting us in your story. And this is a way to say mm, thank, thank you to you. Thank you, yeah. Honestly, I wanted old Luke to stay dead. I don't know if that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> if that's just me being selfish, I kind of wanted your team to have a little bit of a, like a, you know, like, okay, we made a bad choice, like, we crossed the bridge and, like, one of our characters died. <laughs> oh, I haven't read it still since alive. she died. What am I doing? Am I still alive? Yeah, you what and I, I are doing? chilling together, Am Rachel? I cool? Am I good Maybe at this? Maybe you need to go read it. Maybe you am, am I good it. at the zombie apocalypse stuff? You're the stuff? next one to die. No, I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. I'm telling you, someone's going to die. Don't kill me off. Someone's going to die. I did like my cool, like, my entrance. When, when someone was like, "Who's that?" and Dave's like, "Just watch," and just I'm like, watch. "I'm like twirling," back, you don't help her with the I'm like twirling just a chainsaw all over my head. That's awesome. Yeah, and my nice intro entrance. is, I haven't done anything cool yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my team's badass, but I'm not. I loved my. I don't entrance. think anybody can compare. I don't anything can compete with nunchucks that have spikes that come out of the bottom, which is in that picture. My twirling know. chainsaw skills are I don't pretty know. badass. Rachel has a chainsaw on a like string, a string that she like throws out at people. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, it's like a chainsaw whip. I'm like Indiana Jones of chainsaws. Indiana Jones saw. Uh huh. Here, let me get across this chasm. Throw the chains on and just cuts the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, damn it. Um, let's try again. Better luck next time. Exactly. 
Maybe if it gets caught on something and is whirling, and then you can be like, all right, let me try and swing across, and then you fall down while holding it, and the chainsaw's coming at you like, no! <laughs> That'd be a really cool you. action scene. Uh, that would be an amazing action scene. Let's make this possibilities. happen. Let's make this happen. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. So Arn Harper's leaking to uh, the Etsy link for the Aqua Rose. Thank you, yeah, Arn Harper. I'm going to add her into my Etsy dropping that. circle. All right, so that said, let's move to some quick hit stories. We There's got a much. lot of shit. We got a lot of quick hits. Honestly, let's get to it. Let's jump right into Microsoft. Uh, so the indie store for Xbox Live has been... Games have been mysteriously disappearing. Someone took it out back. Yeah. Oh, so... Put it out of its misery. Oh, Basically, shit. Yeah, but Luigi I mean, like, even like uh, Minecraft, though. Minecraft Xbox 360 edition is part of the indie store. I just think that they're gearing up for, like, uh, there is no indie store. Everything is... Indie is everything, and everything is indie. Like, they're gearing up for, like, a less, like segmented store for the xbox one launch basically i mean it's really just that they were updating it probably yeah. for the launch and they messed something up in the coding so they're fixing it that's yeah. pretty much what it is according to the Mi microsoft Dying. spokesperson yeah uh so bigger news though new ps vitas have been announced so we have a bunch of new ps vitas of course. thinner why do they keep putting these out? No one's buying them. Yeah, they, I'm buying them. You already have a PS Vita. You did buy okay, one. I did. I did. Nobody but me is buying them. Who is buying that? them as I pull what? my Vita out and play with it? What the Just a little bit. I never play with my Vita. With Hell no. I'm um I'm pretty stoked because I haven't bought a PS Vita yet, and now I'm like, well, this is why I didn't buy one because now they're bringing yeah, better ones out. I was actually reading you it. You are not that smart no, to I was think reading that that's it. Why do you want a Vita? <laughs> no, that's oh my God, Grant. There are no I didn't games win. for it. You no, win. It's a waste of system. Is, no, let's bask in that. <laughs> that was a winning <laughs> statement. A I moment of silence for that statement. I actually statement. didn't hear what that you said. <laughs> Repeat it. Kindly repeat it, Grant. Uh, I was like, you are not that smart that that's what you're, that's the reasoning behind you. I didn't know, I didn't predict PSV it, but I'm yeah. saying I'm happy about this news because I didn't uh, buy a PSV and this now is for I have you. a reason to. That's that's a win. You win one You win one internet. Grant, congratulations. One Thank you. internet. One internet. What do I use it for? No, I can, Everything. I'm, porn. I'm with you, Dave. Use it for porn. I'm excited about this new one and the PS yeah. Vita. Originally, I was like, whatever. Like, care, why not be excited no. for a new the PS Vita, like a better version? about, like, the cute little speaker holes. And it's going gonna, gonna to be cheaper. Because there's it's someone with a Vita cheaper. to use yeah. the system. Here's the thing. It's cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper. It has one gigabyte of onboard memory. And now I don't have a... Uh, well, now I could get Dragon's Crown. And it has colors. For it. Color. For one game. I didn't have a PS Vita before, though. Yeah, and you always so told not me cheaper. I should get one, so. No, I no. Might now. It's if a you cheaper, have a DS, better version of a PS Vita. You have a DS, it's all you need. Your Vita, you'll, if you play one game on it, that's the most look, you'll ever play. Hey, look, I agree with you. I far prefer 3DS, and I love my 3DS. I play it all the time. However, Mario you cannot Luigi, get Persona 4 Golden on yeah, a 3DS. So, so I've been playing Mario and Luigi Golden. every day. You can't get a really yeah. good pinball game on there. I can't get Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate. You can't get... Um, Mario Luigi. Yeah, well, now with the new PS Vita, it might happen. But you know what else Darn is now. happening with the PS Vita? Is they just released the PS Vita TV has Which been is announced. Like excitement! Cool. That's something that's I think not that's happening. That's really with cool. The Vita. You know what else? You know what it reminds <laughs> me of though. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of though? The PS Vita TV. It reminds me of that add-on for the Game Boy for your Super Nintendo. Super Game Boy. That's yeah, what it Super was. Yeah, Super Game Boy. It literally is mm -hmm. like this is Super Game Boy. That's what it makes me think of. Did you all remember the ex the the, the, you know the it's Super bundle Game Boy. of accessories that your Game Boy used to have? I have a Game like, Boy camera. You guys are like suckers that, for marketing. This I had Game Boy camera. Hey, it that had hey a light Rachel. And had like like hey Rachel. And shit. Hey Rachel, you're on Game Boy camera. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you never okay. All someone has to do is hey look this is cool and you're like I'm on board this is cool. I, That's when, not but true. I'm sitting here I'm telling you if you get it you never use That's it. All. I, I'm, I'm okay, going to point out every I single time we do an Xbox reason. cool thing you are on board with it. Wait no no because you, Xbox has time and time again shown me that when they she say hates they're the gonna connect. do something cool, it's actually cool. Except for the connect, I will always let's, say let's, I hate let's the connect. Let's jump on the fact that she Rachel does hate connect. Even handed, I don't. Yeah, think that I think she's pretty even handed. Like... Okay, let me, Rachel. Let me yeah. backtrack for a moment here. Yeah. Let me backtrack for a moment here. I never <laughs> said. <laughs> the bank. I never said the PS Vita TV was cool. I just said it was announced. I actually think it's dumb. I think it's cool. It's I don't, dumb. I don't think it's. Dumb. I, I don't. It's okay. Neat. Oh, wait, I don't think it's dumb per se. I just don't think well, I, I would never buy it. I'll say that. And it's dumb. They're coming out with a new one. I would never it's buy the PS Vita TV. It's ever used. It's only it is only a hundred dollars. No, I would never no, no. use it. I, I would get never a game for that much money. I, I would never use it. I would never buy it. The reason I have a 3DS and a PS Vita is so I can play while I'm pooping. 
I can't use the PSV to TV uh, while I'm doing that. That is, that is serious yeah, criteria. You can't poop and that do is it. It's cr- not You can't worth poop it. and do it. What's the point? That's <laughs> the point of handouts. You know what? You can poop and play your console games with a you... bit of ingenuity and a wireless oh. controller. What about I guess you're right, John. What about you? Know, John, the you're right. Wii U? I, I, I can play my Wii U while pooping. Yeah, exactly. Except for Pikmin. Wii U is a pooping system. I can't play Pikmin 3 while pooping, though. Why not? Because you can only play Pikmin 3 while watching the screen on TV. You have to have the TV screen. Well, damn that game. It's not worth it. How but, few games can you actually? There's so like not, uh, not Batman Arkham City you can do all on the Wii U. Batman and poop. Games you Pooping can, Batman. Poop, Batman poop. I wonder if Batman poops in his suit. Does he have a, like a little <laughs> thing? Like him and Iron Man both are really smart and they've got all this technology. Maybe there's something built into the suit. Iron Man, Iron Man probably Batman does, but I doubt Batman does. Let, let's, hmm. This debate Batman no poops his doubt pants while fighting Joker. Because that's a lot of things to take off just for a pooping break. You you are you know what Bruce you Wayne? What are you thinking? I don't know. You have you have <laughs> he no doubt. Him. He's like, that's it. Con- it's over. It's- yeah, you have no doubt. Like, just gone into the <laughs> deepest recesses of like nerd debate. Like this, this is the conversation that has been raging in the basements of comic book stores. How do they poop? Well, yeah. This is That's very the interesting questions. information. And, and These are the hard hitting questions. I need questions. answers. I, they will never be realistic. In my brain. Do you brain remember those like answers. old golden age? Um, like schematics that they drew of like the Final Fantasy, uh, not the fin- uh, the Fantastic Four fortress with like it shows like the entire building with its cooling system and like the the silo for their rocket to launch off of contained all within this normal looking like New York skyscraper. That's what I kind of imagine is like Rachel talking about right now with Iron Man's suit. You know like, what I'm this thinking about? Age schematic of Tony Stark's Stark suit, and then oh, they're in the back. Yeah, there is. There I'm is thinking about suit. how great Golden I'd ask was. Him. I'd if I got to go down there the first thing i'd ask is but how do you poop poop i'm thinking about how great golden eye is because there were bathrooms in golden eye oh yeah yeah think about it realistic baby all right you you don't think james bond like while he was was, was out with all the alcohol with all the alcohol he drinks and like how in poor health that he doesn't have that game because the very first scene he's got lots of stds he has to enter into the toilet area and punch out that guy who's taking a crap girls don't poop though so don't, it's not cool to punch a man while he's pooping. That is so. That is like Ew. the That's worst like the thing you can do. That's the best time to do it no, because he can't fight back. That is a pussy back. fight. Th- exactly. I didn't even know that was well, like that a thing. Well, yeah, that's, real men that's do that not punch thing? men while pooping. Uh, no, is that no, no, a thing? No. Real, a real men time. punch <laughs> men when they're not looking. You're that's how up. you do it. <laughs> All right. No. What's the point of a fair fight? I don't know. There, well, I don't think there is one. Speaking of something else that you use a lot while you poop, uh, the new iPhone has been released. The iPhone 5S and, uh, and the 5C. The amount of shits that I give about that is exactly zero. I didn't. What? Really? What's, what is it? What is it? Is it, is people? it is worth talking about because casual gaming has but become big. So we should talk about the iPhone. The 5S casual and 5C were released. Casual gamers aren't real gamers. Um, well, I still play games on my iPad, and actually, you know what, The Room, I do too, every the night. room is a fantastic game. It is such a yes. good game. It's so it good. Is. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there are good games for the iOS, so it's worth talking I'm about. Lucky. I really like the hidden object games. I'm such a sucker for those. Uh, I don't, I don't oh like Oh my those. god. But, uh, Swords and Sword Brothers, or Swords and Sorcery, uh, Swords and Sorcery, Swords and Sorcery There's Super Brothers. There's another really good game called so good. Sorcery. Just called Sorcery, I think is what it's called, yeah. But, it's so good. Sorcery. But regardless, here's the big thing, though. The 5S was released, and it's going to have a new chip in it that's going to make it even more powerful. I Honestly, I'd rather get the what, 5C because I'm all about the colors. Put a less powerful chip in there? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's not as big as, like, it's not a big release. Any of the S releases, to me, aren't big releases when I when I think about it, but, like, um, it's going to be $200 for the 16-gigabyte model. 5C is going to be $100. And that's what I want a 5C because I want a cool What color. are the differences? One's but here's, plastic, the, here's the one of the big things. Uh, one, co- one costs $200? Well, the 5C is basically a new color version of the iPhone 5. It's just new colors for your iPhone 5. Why pay extra well, for colors slightly better too. if you Why can get a case to protect it and a different color? Because I want a teal blue one. That's Show why. Everyone your case. Or a pink one. You can get a... You colored case. One? Look, yeah. everybody, look oh. at my new case. Does the does the new iPhone 5S or 5C come, come with in a stormtrooper? Storm I, I don't think so. But, so the iPhone 5S, though, the, the difference is, is that now it has the Jesus whole fingerprint Christ, thing. Now they're like thinking the same <laughs> thing. I'm, I'm, I'm just ah. right so now it has the now it has a fingerprint thing for your iPhone 5S. <laughs> Where it literally will track your fingerprint, and you track your fingerprint to see if it's your fingerprint to I use your phone. I saw everybody like on Twitter just go like, "Oh yeah, it's got a fingerprint scanner." Wait a minute, 
Yeah. I really want them scanning my fingerprints. My my thing is no. Do that, I like, say no. Around, like, I do not All like the this. cheaters, the only people that are excited about it are cheaters. You know that like Cause cause then their other about person it. can't get in there and check their phone. The fingerprint thing has existed for over 10 years, even on like a laptop on a PC. Yeah. And now it's Just like on my phone. Really like, oh my it? gosh. But it's been there for a while. See, the reason I'm not excited about the fingerprint thing isn't because that is more of like, I don't need them to know my fingerprint. I don't need them to know that. That's They're one thing. Like, you. get away from that's, me. Okay, look, that's what people get say. Get away from me. But people at first, when the iPad first came in existence, they're like, why do we need an iPad? It's an oversized iPhone, but now we can't live without one. You, I can't live you know, this is actually kind of weird. I don't I actually, use an iPad. I actually read an article in this. <laughs> I saw this on right Cracked.com. It was about how, like, Rub the current iPads. generation will not understand why 1984 was quite the dystopian novel that it is. Because ju just simply because of the vit, because like it, of course, connect. The book. yeah, because of like connect and like how like constantly we're Cameras. connected. And how so we're gonna co we're gonna combine the connect enough. with this new fingerprint scanner. With what else can we connect it to? It's too much. They can I'm, take. How about how about testicle I'm about identification? To pass out. You know, Honestly, yeah. can you tell it's my? They have a little weight. They have a little weight on it. I don't care about anything. them having my I'll take anything they can throw at me. Because I'm Bring innocent, Dave. That's why I don't care if they have my fingerprint. Am I innocent? Only you I guilty mean, types. It's kind of cool. Just instead try of having and get to type, my fingerprints. Instead of having to type your password, I'm every fine time, with the passcode. But my problem is, like, what if someone needs to get into your phone for a reason? I saw somebody. You give it to them, and you get three. What if you are in a hospital because you got in a wreck and the cop? need to call your you family on your phone. You get up to three that would be a very weird situation that they don't have their own phone. No, you have up to three you're saying the hospital doesn't have a phone? No. no. Can... What if they need... To, what if you're... Is your unconscious and... body not on the gurney? They yeah. go grab your hand, well, do no, that, guys, and done. Or have how many three... times have you been like, holy shit, my phone's ringing. Can no. you get that for me? They have three authentications. Like, for example, if I had an iPhone 5, 5S, I can be like, oh, I want Dave to be part of this so he can put his fingerprint and he'll always be able to access always, it. Always? But what if someone just and then I'm in their time, network of fingerprints. One time getting into well, your phone, that one time. And I, well, granted, if I trusted David very much, no, which this I, is which stupid. I, why, yeah, why, yeah, this is, I hate yeah. advanced. I, I just read technology. that. I know you're saying it about that, but I'm taking that as you saying it's a stupid idea to trust me because that's what Kari was talking no, about. No, I trust you. Um, I that's don't. Just, <laughs> so, bigger news, though. Bigger news, I think, in iOS is that September 18th, which is in just a few days from here, is when the game controllers are going to be coming out for iOS. The game pads are finally going to be, uh -huh. that firmware update is going to come out, so you can actually attach a game pad. We know we said we don't like buttons, but we're going to bring them back. Well, it was Hold mainly be, well, because Steve Jobs <laughs> is dead, so now they can do what they want. Finally. God. <laughs> oh, you were just waiting for him to wow. kick it from pancreatic cancer. Wow. That's nice. My buttons, guys. So, like, to me, you I take think... Them away. You can have my buttons when you pry them from my cold dead. The, the thing is, I yeah. think I think games are going to use this, but I think at the same time it's not going to do well enough. That's going to be a big deal to hinder mm -hmm. the 3DS or PS Vita because it's not built in. You're going to have the fact that I think any game that wants to be a big iOS game is going to try to make it so they don't use that functionality I because really? it's a not because you, yeah. it's not a built-in feature. Wow. Because I don't I think that you try to focus on built-in features. I think that's why Sony Move didn't do well. That's why Connect didn't do that well. Is because they weren't built in. I think it has to be a built-in thing that you know that it's going to hit every audience demographic that buys well, a phone. I don't think well, that suits it well because they didn't really suck. work that well. I said that a couple weeks ago. I was like, I don't think. That, I thought like, Connect. Hey, Connect Adventures felt like Disney Quest in your them home. Being mandatory. Uh, Just saying. Disney's Connect Adventures was even worse. I'm talking about Disney Quest. Disney Quest. It's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think those things did well, not because they weren't built in, but just because they suck. Plain and simple. I think it's because they weren't built in. I think you need to build in that functionality for to get that user. So Rachel you, Moore seal because, of disapproval. Here's the reason why. Yeah. Here's the reason why. I think you can make a lot of really good games with that technology. And it, with this game pad, you can make great games. But the big companies that want to market to the most people, that want to get the most sales, aren't going to do it because they're not going to. Since yeah. it's not a built-in functionality and they're not going to hit as big of an audience. It, 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 Completely. I wouldn't like connect more if it was built. <laughs> I in. honestly think that you're right because, like, if it don't agree with him. Because if you don't Our have side a of table against that side no, of the I, table. I, when, when has there been? I, a guess this is how it other. always is. Okay, I promise. You guys gotta watch <laughs> out. Except for, when, except for when you're talking about Anita Sarkeesian. <laughs> you're horrible, then. Yeah, Dave. yeah, that's different. I'm done with it. You're horrible. What did you say about Dave? Why? Oh, I table wars. <laughs> 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 for those of you who you know were born past right 1990, <laughs> that's from West Side Story. I'm a jet. 
Oh, good. I'm a greaser because I, I used to like putting gel in my hair. Well, no, I'm a pink a lady. You'd be a Is that what they're called situation. in Greece? Pink ladies? Yeah. I'm a pink lady. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on to 3D Realms has dropped their lawsuit against Duke Nukem Forever. They were uh, basically trying to claim that they were owed $2 million in royalties, and now they have dropped it, stating, and I will quote, There ain't $2 million out of that game. That to whom it may concern. Back. It was actually, I really liked that game. After reviewing too. evidence regarding our business affairs and, and without any money exchanging salary. hands, we have satisfactorily <laughs> like resolved any and all differences that we perceived against Gearbox. In all sincerity, we regret the misunderstanding that instigated our lawsuit. Please, please, please so, help us make our next so game. So basically, yeah. I mean, it sounds like to me what they're basically saying is that they, they just didn't understand the terms of the agreement, and they tried to sue them for something that they weren't legally supposed to sue them for, is basically what it comes down to. I, yeah, I can see that. I, I think, I, I, think that they ha I think that in order to get uh, Forever published and out there, they probably signed away a lot more rights than they're used to signing away and then when they tried to get recompensed like it just didn't work out like they basically said no sorry you know like not only did it not sell amazingly well but like we put a lot of money and development into it i'm sure that they they crossed their t's and dyed their eyes i'm sure that also to be perfectly honest owed anything fuck them they took <laughs> 10 years yeah and they didn't even finish that piece of shit I, 10 years i completely agree with that that statement 100 percent so i don't know about you guys but I, i'm a little sad because it looks like it'll be a while before kingdom hearts 3 yeah, comes out it's 2015 maybe and that's a maybe because we saw lord. how long it's taken for final fantasy 15. good lord that is ridiculous why. I'm they so sad. I'm not even going to care the anymore. Quote is, the quote is, it's, it's a difficult job. the only reason it's laid that long is because they're adding Star Wars shit to it. Hashimoto said, I, I hope they do. Maybe. They should. No. It's possible. No. Hashimoto like, said, Star Wars guy? Like, you do not want to have a lightsaber keyblade? That, that would, would be cool, but I hate <laughs> how cartoony everything's becoming. Star Wars with Clone Wars. And... No, just do it tiny, tiny bit, little bit. But like Kingdom uh, Hearts is just incorporates every Disney do, franchise. Like, it's like, yeah, it's just that little world that you visit, no. and then you get some Star no. Wars stuff. Hashimoto, <laughs> Hashimoto's quote is saying it's a difficult oh, job. Iron Man. You can get Iron Man and stuff into there. Uh, Dave, yeah. Dave, 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 go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Kari. <laughs> <laughs> Hashimoto has quoted saying, it's a difficult job as we want each game to be perfect in terms of quality. A lot of people were, have wondered for the last couple of years if Square Enix has actually been working on Kingdom Hearts 3. That's why we announced it at E3 this year. But please, we need you to understand there's a lot to do. So they basically just announced it to shut people up. Like, shut up! We're working but on that's it! that's the problem. Don't announce shut your up. game two or three years in advance. Uh, Such a bad idea. Idea. I know, because that's the thing with Final Fantasy like 15 or Final Fantasy versus 14 was versus 13, which is now 15. Is it looks so good, and everyone for four years has been like, "This looks amazing." The When's hype, it coming? Yeah, out? no, but the hype gets when? to a point. It gets to a point where like, no matter what when? you release, sorry, no matter <laughs> the hype gets so strong that no matter what you release, it doesn't live up to the hype. I don't know. Final Fantasy 15 looks that's amazing. Like DC movies. It looks amazing. Sorry. That's true. Well, hey, um, <laughs> Batman, delayed, Batman, Dark Knight was really good. If it doesn't get delayed like five years, I think that coming out with this information and like announcing it, even though it's not going to be for another year and a half at least, um, like I think it helps build enough hype. Like it's good for the investors. It it's good for like hype. building Harp up like interest in the game. Owen Harper says she wants to see Phineas and Ferb in Kingdom Ugh, Hearts. I hate Phineas oh, and Ferb. Yeah. And that they did yeah. everything. And they did, did you hate fun oh, and love and care. enjoyment? What Have you been to Disneyland during the Phineas and Ferb parade thing they did? It's the worst freaking thing in the that world. I don't That's... give a crap because I watched the show. I will never watch is... the show because it looks terrible. Quiet! <laughs> quiet! There's an update on Quiet. There's, uh, there's, there's an update on quiet. There's an update on quiet. Buzzing. The yeah, character yeah. from that we were talking about last week from uh, Hideo Kojima's oh, Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, 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 yeah. How'd you like that transition? Yeah. Quiet. So there's an update on it's quiet. Quite clever, the character. Quite um, so basically, uh, Hideo Kojima says that hey, there's actually a reason that I want her to be more scanty clad, scantily clad. We forgot her pants. Yeah. Hold up, we forgot Oops. her pants. Whoops. His reasoning made no sense to me. It was weird. He's just trying to cover his ass. I know. I know. This is totally an ass So this covering. is from his Twitter. He this should is... have posted a picture of him covering his ass. Yeah. This is, this is from like, his Oops. Twitter account. <laughs> Hideo Kojima's quick Here's Twitter. Here's sushi. Here's us doing motion capture Quiet! The game. Hideo Kojima's Twitter account says, I know there's people concerning <laughs> about Quiet, but don't worry. I created her character as an antithesis to the woman character appeared in the past fighting games who are exclusively exposed. Quiet, who doesn't have a word, will be teasing the story as well. 
So see, she's also a woman who can't talk, which is the way it should be. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. But once you, they should be scantily clad and not talking. <laughs> And in the kitchen. And in the kitchen. Apron. So it says, that's actually they what he's quoted as saying. Uh, yeah. So he also says, but once you recognize the secret reason for her exposure, you will feel ashamed of your words and Because she's a stripper that has gone from stripping to well, military. I, I think Honestly, it's a bad translation of Japanese. That's all I that's think. Actually it probably not a horrible, yeah. That's actually not a horrible, like, I can, I can pull from what his statement was. What he's trying to say is, like, hint, there's a reason why this is happening. Ass. Like, like. She, I mean, I'm like, okay with any reason for that. Those, I mean, <laughs> the Metal Gear games have dealt a lot with psychology of war. They've dealt a lot with the politics. This one is even going deeper into what the psychology of war actually does to, like, young people, people who are never intended to experience war, children, for that matter, and, like, people that are, are affected by years and years of, like, violence and hatred. So I, I, can, I can get that there's a possibility, hey, we've got a non-speaking character, a character who's been through a traumatic experience, you don't have to dress her that way to show her off. Honestly, I'm sorry. I, I'm distracted by the like, giant butt like, on the screen. Like what way? This way? Like yeah, this? I see that, yeah. Let's just check it out. Everybody, everyone. Can, I'm distracted right every, now. Can everyone see this? I mean, wow, look at that rendering. It goes like right up her crack. Holy God. I do like a sexy This is lady, technology, people. But I still think this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I haven't eaten. I'm falling. I'm like about to pass <laughs> I, out. I haven't eaten, and I so see, I'm staring and at a CG <laughs> rendered and I see ass a giant, and salivating. And I see a giant. Big, juicy, butt. meaty yeah. butt. And all I see is a giant butt. I'm like, I can't concentrate. That's all I can see and Actually, think about. I, mean, with the, yeah. I, I really don't want to know what you get into <laughs> in your off hours, Dave. If you're looking at someone's ass and you're like, man, I'm hungry. I'm going to put some it's A1 like, sauce it's like, it's, on that thing. You're just like, ah, rump roast. Do you not think that? He's going to no. bite into it. No, no, I don't, Dave, because you know what? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I have a well-balanced brain Not being ish. straight. <laughs> but -dum -bum. I'm tired. Okay. Final thing we should talk about. Uh, Sony, a uh, Sony intern is suing Sony for being forced to test games. I think... Uh, you're an you, intern, that means you're a bitch. Here, I'm kind of oh, having mixed whoa. emotions on this. <laughs> yeah. I'm mixed because I feel like as an intern, you kind of do, do what you're... No, but I want one. I kind of feel like as an, as an intern, as someone who has an intern, you kind of do what you're taking and just kind of like... I you, just you, said. You do, that's, that's kind of what the intern thing is. You kind of like... You're kind of grateful for an intern because it's your way to get into the industry. And honestly, that <laughs> that's the thing about interning is it's really it more about... Um, I feel like being an intern is more about getting industry connections than actually mm -hmm. doing anything else, like real work. Like my internship, I would have loved to have done more cool work and real work, but it was about getting industry connections and getting an inside. So that's really what it's about. Yeah. At the same time, I understand where he's coming from was that he expected his internship to be one thing and he didn't, and it wasn't. That. Well, I yeah. was forced to play games, you guys. Well, test games day. is different. Testing games is different. I know. I you used know to be that. a tester. Well, but still. He, he actually made a comment on, on the article, and it's not really about playing the games. It's about how he was treated with human resources that pissed him off. So... Yeah, yeah, it's because, I, I think it's because he wasn't. That well, no, it's because he. Well, the thing is, he wasn't getting in the way of good. No, it's because fun. he was supposed to get gas money to drive yeah. in and out to work. That was the one thing he was supposed to get compensated for, and human resources Who wasn't compensating him that. When have I ever given yeah, gas money? Yeah, I've never heard of well, such a thing. Because you already well, don't right, get paid to do right, free work. It doesn't yeah. matter. You're an intern, right, though. Great. But here's the thing: like, if you go in and he he went in with an agreement that. The company was going to do X, Y, and Z. Like, oh, yeah, we'll do this, 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 and this. That's what, like, it was basically he signed a contract saying that they will do this and you do this for us. And when they aren't living up to their end of the bargain, like, how does he not have a right to go, hey, give me what I'm owed? I would say the yeah. gas money is the only thing that he's owed. Because honestly, yeah. as a student, a person who's getting the opportunity to experience that type of an industry while you're going to school, a leg, like a did leg you, in the did door. You his, did you read but his response? So like, gas like, money is the all, only thing that I would feel I would but be owed. But still, I, I do think. for what I give Brad. out. Did you read his response and clar he clarifies the article? So go read it and then tell us what you think. I still think people are big babies now, and just because they don't get sense. what they want, they whine and then sue and make well, a big but scene I want on, it. on social media. Like, oh no, my flight's delayed. I'm gonna go on Twitter and bitch about it and, to, and at reply them until they get me on a different flight. Really, I was raised with, oh really, that happened to you? Tough shit. Yeah, this to is how you grow up. But this, no, fly. this is a this is no, a world it's... of difference. You are working for scot free, sometimes fifty to sixty hours 
a week. They are taking it's advantage of interns. It's growing up and it's getting an allowance. growing up. It's called it slave labor, which is what they're fucking doing. No, nope. no, that, nope. I agree with you, John. There's no excuse to be completely. Then don't be an advantage. intern. Well, there's a well fine then how line. the hell you can you, you can't get a job with that anymore? That's just fucking exploitation. You can get yeah. a job without being an intern. Where? Tons of places. Like, Actually, John. You just gotta have the this. skills. I have been. I have worked for a number of companies, none of which are exclusively staffed by interns or former interns. So, yes, you can get a job at almost anywhere without having been an intern first. It's just intern a, it's is, just a, a, good is way a company's way to get free labor. That's what they're for. That's, that's what is, they're there for. But it's also how you get your in when you're trying to sign up How you intern, hope to get your in. Just because you're an intern doesn't mean you're, you're going to work there. No, you have to also be a good person See, you're, you're and a hard Rachel, worker. you're talking about the stuff that he's upset because he had to do things that he didn't want to do. It's not that. He's upset with the treatment he got. So it's a completely different thing. Yeah. I've been treated she's back, too, and I've never sued anybody at my old work. Most Well, most people don't. That's why this is a story. Yeah. Yeah, that's because I'm I don't bitch it, and moan it, whenever something it does, treats me it bad. It does bring something does bring something up. Like these companies are abusing, you know, their interns. They are getting them to do Dude, more life than isn't what, life isn't easy and it's not always fair. Sometimes you just gotta it suck it up and roll with it. But when you sign a goddamn contract, it's very situational. We are like, talking yeah. about a contract that none of us have actually seen, read, or were part of its conceivement. So why are we bitching about a contract? We don't even know what's actually written in there. We're just reading someone's secondhand story of it. Here, here's the I, thing, though, John. I mean, the thing is, every internship is free labor. That's what an internship is. Period. I, I agree with that. Every single internship you will ever do is and most free of them labor. Are actually, starting to switch over, and getting paid too, which, which is I mean, used like, to be the norm. I know, but like honestly, like when I started out, I wasn't getting paid for what I was doing, and I don't, and I. I enjoyed the experience. Like I learned more from my initial work than I did ever in school. I was paying for my internship. I was I, paying money to have my internship. I wasn't what? paid as an I intern. Was. I wasn't treated well as an intern. I was but treated that's how I got like my job. everybody's little bitch, and I had to put up with people every day. It was a terrible experience, but I fucking dealt with it. Well, I was, that's true. That's well, I was what just you gonna to say do. for me that was how I got my job. That's, was because of my internship. That was how your, I got you my pay job. Your dues. I actually paid money. To have my internship, I didn't get paid anything. I had to pay to, to have cl class credits. Yeah, I had to pay like a school so I could be paying money. And to most times you, you, were, you were getting like credits. You were getting and, college and credit and out of it. Credits. You were. There was. I was like, getting college credit for for a grad school that I didn't finish, and I did it on purpose, <laughs> knowing I wasn't going to finish grad school if I got a job out of and this. And you're treated like dirt. That's just kind of how and it I goes. And I also had to pay money to live in Los Angeles, where I wasn't living at the time, to work for free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You you got you guys still don't see like any kind. Okay, once upon a time it was a norm on a sailing vessel that if the captain decided that everybody needed a daily beating in order to keep morale up, it just happened. Eventually, we decided to do away with that. But do you just see what I'm saying? Just because I'm it's just the way things are. In John's this is no, I, I agree with you. John. You have to pay your dues. This you is just how it happens. You have to pay your dues, but you don't have to like take shit. a beating in order to do it. There was no yeah. beating. Yeah. I think he's done. just kind of he's being a little complaining. I really, about it. I really do think it depends on what they do to you, and how they treat you. I'm not at all for you're poorly not treating an intern. Here's the thing: I don't. I think it is bullshit. Job. You're the, not guaranteed to be treated well even at a paying job. I know, but but you're I not going to bitch about it constantly. I still think that's bullshit, that's what though. You do. Period. Yeah, actually, yeah, I do you think do. that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. I think I just I I'm all for having an environment in a company where you should be treated well, regardless of your position. But sadly, that's but not how it, it always it's not, is. It's not how it always and is, and there. that's what makes it well, a bad company. Well, should we, like, strive to make it that way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not always the way it goes. When we find out about it, we shouldn't just shrug do and we go, know, oh, Do well, we know the company on. side of the story? Do we know how he was as an intern? How, how great he treated everybody? We don't. We're only speaking on I'm his side. I'm not talking about him. Well, well fuck him. I don't give a crap what they out. do in the UK. I'm the talking about, I'm out. talking like, on okay. the overall intern situation. I'm just saying, Whatever. I don't think, I don't the think we know the okay. story Okay, so here. on the chat, we've got Rich saying, an intern gives the person experience that they can use at another company and for right variation of the job they were doing. Depends on your internship. Some internships don't give you that at all. Owen Harper says, my Disney internship paid me $6 an hour, but you know what? I had my dream job in the parks, and I enjoyed every damn minute of it. I got to work crowd control and watch parades. I had a perfect view of the fireworks while working my attraction. Yeah, everybody's uh, is different. Alyssa mm -hmm. White saying I had to be an I would be an I would be an intern for any company to get a foot into the video game industry. 
And Joseph Bose is saying, I had an internship in my senior year of high school that I had to have for class. It was at a fast food restaurant. Coworkers respected, and yet I was the bitch who cleaned the tables in the bathrooms. My internship was hell, so everybody's experience is different. But I, I do feel like you should at least treat them well. That's I the only thing I will school. say. You should at least treat them well. I was going to school from 10 a.m. until nearly 10 p.m., and then I got to work at 10.30 and then worked until 6 o'clock in the morning. So screw you all. <laughs> Okay, so with that, in. let's go ahead and talk about uh, <laughs> last week's question of the week was we asked if you think the console release date will make a difference. And Cam Bash responded, your mics look cool. Thank you. Thank you. And huh? then he said that our sound oh, was crap. Oh, we had the Bumblebee this butt was, yeah, mics. Last week, but the sound, the sound was crap. Sorry, that's why we're usually in Studio A. We were having issues with Studio A last week, which is why we're in Studio B, which doesn't have as good of sound. But we're back, so the and sound should also, be spot like, on. When when you when you in Studio B, when you're hearing it through the headphones, it sounds totally different than apparently what's did going on. Did I sound out. like this? Uh, More than a bit. We all did. Ryan Rosner saying though, back to the actual question. Ryan Rosner uh, uh, saying on YouTube, the release date for the new consoles doesn't matter at all to me. I'm not planning on getting an Xbox One or PS4 for a long time. My allegiance lies with Nintendo. Uh, three Bow Wow twenty two saying I, I gained the PS4. I agree with Rachel about Titanfall. Alyssa White saying, I don't think the console release dates will affect sales all that much. Gamers have probably already decided which console they will buy, yeah. so brand loyalty will most likely determine sales. I agree with that. And I agree with that. And that's why I was saying, like, I feel like what would make a difference is if it was, like, eight months, where if you already have brand loyalty to, like, PS4, but Xbox One came out first, and you had to wait a year for PS4, maybe you'd be like, well, I can't wait. I want mm -hmm. a new system. Yeah, I'm not really, but since like, it's within a week, the next three months. I'm worried about the right. eight months after. But since it's within a week, I don't think it matters at all. I completely disagree with Patrick. Which is why he's not here this week. Yeah, we kicked uh, him out. What? I think Joseph Boza says something, but you said it like literally Shocking last minute. Shocking abuse so I'm of authority sorry. there, Dave. Joseph Boza. I'm sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> uh, and a bunch of people complain about the whole uh, Quiet Mystique thing, or Quiet thing, how it came out about Quiet. Look, the new story about Hideo Kojima talking about Quiet came out after our show last week. So we're like sorry. Very, very, very. Like, and it was happening on Friday, then Saturday, and then. Yeah, so Monday. we're sorry last week that we didn't talk about Hideo Kojima's clarification. That's why we talked about this week. And actually. It's because we do do this show live. So if you watch it after a news story comes out, after the live show. We're already at home playing. Not, you know, and also, yes. not going to lie, what you guys are talking about is speculation. It's damn good speculation and probably right, but it, that. That feature that you're talking about, where like maybe her skin has like basically like chameleon camouflage, that's currently spec. We, there's not not been one, any 100 percent confirmation. He could have on said it. something. It's so Don't stupid. Don't release a photo of the character in that state unless you're prepared to back it up. And yeah. also yeah. explicitly yeah. state that you wanted her to be more erotic so that more people oh, yeah. would cosplay. The statement it would that immediately yeah. preceded that's right. showing bit. the picture is, I want characters to be more erotic. So that people can cosplay them more properly. I know he did say he that. Did I mean, that's that. what we're commenting on. He did that say that. Sickening. It. Sickening. It's also just Japanese. It's like saying, it's like, I want to fuck with your food. Let me serve you some food. And then, like, wait, I'm suspicious of the food. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I know. So, question <laughs> for you guys next week. Actually, I'd love two for you guys next week. Uh, what do you think about the PS Vita TV? Would you guys actually use it? Do you guys think it's cool, or do you guys think, hey, this is dumb? I'd never buy this thing. What do you guys think about the PS Vita TV tech? Or do you guys agree that's just Super Game Boy? And <laughs> other question is, 10-year uh, Steam anniversary, what are you guys' uh, experiences with Steam? Do you guys love Steam? What are your experiences with Steam? Are, do you guys hate all of us because last week we all had MacBooks and therefore you don't think we're gamers apparently because we had MacBooks? I know, I saw that yeah, comment. A little I was like, come yeah. on. Oh, God. I have the right oh, to choose oh, whatever right. I want. I've got it's, my you PC, know why? I've got my Mac, here's why. I've got everything. I've got it's my because, gaming PC at home. I've got all the electronics, thank you very much. Yeah, here's here's the other it. thing though. We're also, a lot of us work in production, and I'm sorry, but Macs are better for production work. They just yes, are. Yes, they are. Very, very convenient. But yes. They're better for production work. But ladies and gentlemen, you're on the internet. These are the comments that can and shall come at us. So everyone, feel free. I have intern. a middle school mustache. Yeah, intern. Intern. The intern. person, yeah. the person that comes up with the best insult, either tweet at me or comments about at my middle quick. school must about at now quick about my middle school mustache will win some extra swag that I had from E3 along with the mystery prize. All right, guys, but we're, uh -oh. we've been going way, yeah. way over, but tweet that out now quick. 
about and their best insult. Mustache. I want to read these. You got to bring the insults because I want to oh, hear. Oh, I'm gonna. If they're good, I'm gonna read them out loud. If you can make me cry, that's an automatic win. But it has to be about my mustache. If you're commenting about Your my tiny penis like or any of the other of myriad school. things. So basically, that you can John, what you're saying is. For the kids so basically, out. John, what you're saying is, I'm gonna present you with something I don't care about. And therefore, try and make me cry about something I already don't care about. If you can make me care, that's and what a good insult is all about. Give me a no, good, a good one. In, the, the way that insults get to you is when they find the thing that you do care about, and then they insult you. That's when it hurts. So let's find and that. And then they so find what you actually do care or about. Or you make them care about this thing that they seemingly don't care about. That's You gotta twist it, man. All right, well, I'm putting my cup upside down because we're done. That's what you do when you're done. You put it upside down. Finished. We're finished. So, guys... Uh, thank you so much for joining us this week. The song playing in the background is from Pikmin 2. Check out Pikmin 3 Pikmin. if you haven't. Pikmin. 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 No, not Pikmin. 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 He says it right. Pikmin. 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 No. Pikmin 2. Pikmin. <laughs> it's called New Wistful Wild. It's a remix by Vonico. Actually, it's from Wistful Wild. It's the new Wistful Wild remix by Vonico. Some awesome music to celebrate. A it's new a Wii Korean. U game. And guys, thank you so much for joining us. Do follow us on Twitter at Game Control Live. And do check us out on YouTube, Game Control Tube. Go always check us out on After Buzz as well, but we're transitioning everything over to the new Game Control Tube. And guys, I'm Dave Klein. Check me out on Twitter at the Dave Klein. That is K-L-E-I-N. And you can find me on Twitter at K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S, Kaorius. Right. Come up with your best insults and tweet me at G-A-K. Bring it on. <laughs> and don't insult me. It's at the oh, Rachel. No, be nice. Be and nice. And John? I am sensitive. I am at now quick. But more importantly, what you should do is go to Miss Lindsay Britz's Etsy account, The Aqua Rose. And guys, look that up. Enjoy your food, assholes. <laughs> Yum. Happy day to all of you non Jewish people. Happy day. Happy day. Generic day. Yep. Happy <laughs> generic day. All right, happy guys. Saturday. See you next week. Later. <laughs>